What is up, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video showcasing the power of the Psychic Wielder and all that fun stuff. These are some new cards from the latest mini box, and I'm showing you guys the deck that I built with this archetype. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest though. I am a very angry boy right now, and not because I didn't pull three copies of this card. It's because I actually had this whole video recorded. I had two amazing live duels and an epic deck breakdown on this deck, only to have my mic muted the whole time because I had my mic muted during my uh, when I was recording the replays that you saw at the beginning of today's video. So if you, if you want to, guys, give me some pity likes and you know in the video for the Fs in the chat and all that fun stuff because I messed up the first recording of this video. But hopefully this recording is going to be good. So let's get into the deck breakdown and of course like I said if you guys are enjoying today's video so far or you want to give me some pity and stuff like that be sure to go hit the like button on the video down below or you can wait to like the video until you watch the rest of the video nonetheless though, let's go into this breakdown so first of all when it comes to this deck this deck is basically centered around synchro summoning for some six star monsters but we also have some capabilities to synchro summon into some five star monsters and yeah so the main card that we're going to be talking about is psychic wielder this is one of the brand new cards from the latest mini box this card is super cool because if you control a level three monster other than psychic 
Psychic Wielder. You can special summon this card from your hand in a defense position. You only can special summon Psychic Wielder once per turn this way. This card is sent to the graveyard as a synchro material. You can target a monster on the field. Uh, yeah, you can target a monster on the field with less attack than the synchro monster used for the mirror material. Destroy it, and then you know you can go from there. So this card's super cool because you can special summon this card. Um, if you have a level three monster that's not you know Psychic Wielder on the field, which is honestly awesome, you get to destroy a card on the field if your card's attack is higher than your opponent's monster. And overall, it's a really cool card. We're mostly going to be using Psychic Wielder to synchro summon into XX Saber Hurrilli, or however you pronounce this card, and into this HTS monster. And I'm not even going to try to put and pronounce this card's name because that name is ridiculous. Anyways, though, those are kind of the synchro targets that we're going to be going to. And the combo with Psychic Wielder, we have this card called XX Saber Dark Soul. This is going to be the main card to synchro summon into into our X Saber over here. And we also have a Psychic Tracker, which combos really well with Psychic Wielder because what's nice about Psychic Tracker is the fact that uh, if you synchro summon with this card, you, you're the synchro monster that you you or that you synchro summon with gain 600 attack and what's really nice about that is that the attack the gain attack applies first before psychic wielder so for example, if your um, monster is weak normally, um, with a Psychic Tracker, it gives the attack bonus first, and then you can follow up with destroying a monster. So, for example, a couple times that happened is that I synchro summon Psychic Tracker and a Wielder, go into HTS, and then what happened was that with HTS, it gained um, 3,000 attack points, and I was able to destroy one of my opponent's monsters that had 2,700 attack points, which was really cool right there. So, overall, really good combo right there, and it's an awesome way to go for some six-star synchro summon in action right there. Next up, we have a Junk Synchro on three copies of this card, so we can go into our Mades, because we are comboing the what grows in the graveyard skill but also i'm um, junk synchron combos well with um our other synchro monsters because you can use junk synchron plus psychic tracker to go into hds or you can use junk synchron plus dark soul to go into x saber really which is really good right there next up we're running two copies of spirit kribo for that protection spirit kribo is arguably one of the best cards in this format because it is not it's not a trap or spell card and you get to switch one of your opponent's monster into defense position to save you for another turn so i personally like spirit kribo a lot and it's one of the better cards right there next up we're attacking in a one copy of cosmos cyclone surprisingly this card has helped me on a lot of duels and yeah he just banished spell and trap card on the field a really nice right there running two copies of that super rush headlong destroy a monster on the field running two copies of psychokinesis if we combo it with psychic tracker or psychic wielder or our hts we can destroy a monster or just any card on your opponent's field as long as you pay a thousand light points and the last one at least rock and treacherous trap folks this card gives you a lot of bonus um i use this against for hire i use this against other synchro summoning decks this card is just really good and i have i'm glad i have two copies of this card for consistency or reasons um and yeah then we're rocking uh this guy extra deck right here running two copies of x saber um really or however you pronounce this card when this card synchro summon you get to destroy up to three spell and trap cards in the field really good right there i might drop one copy of this card and maybe add a different six star monster because honestly i don't really have a lot of use or i don't really synchro summon this card that much so maybe i guess i could just throw in a different um six star right now um yeah i don't know i think for now i'll take into flame veil um, for now, but honestly, one copy of this card should be enough, and Flame Veil is good for piercing, so I guess we run Flame Veil in this situation. We have two copies of our Mades, because we have three copies of Junk Synchron, and then we're running um, HTS. This card's really good, because after damage calculation this card battles the opponent's monster you can banish the monster also banish this card and what's nice about Armades is that once this card attacks your opponent cannot activate any spell and trap cards or just any cards in general and their effects with Armades. really good card right there and yeah i think that's it for today's deck breakdown let's go hop into rank pp and hopefully get some epic victory royales first duel we're going against a guy called justin he's off from australia and he has a full belt of king of games Oh boy, we're going against a Zane too. I wonder if he's playing any, uh, I wonder if his deck that he's using is a new deck from the latest box. So if you guys didn't know already, we're actually in King of Games right now, which is awesome. And yeah, let's just go see what's popping. Why is my, I do not know why my thing's like this. Whatever though. Let's go switch the camera angle. We got an all right hand. It's, it could be worse. And it could definitely be worse. Oh, he's playing Gear Guys. I don't like Gear Guys. Uh, hopefully this is not back row. If this is not back row, we should be fine. Because we're just going to play our mateys and just kind of deal with the, you know, what we need to deal with. Please don't set that many cards. Ah, he did it. Okay, only one. You know what? Only one. We might get lucky. And we got Psychokinesis, which is also really freaking good. So we're going to summon it to Junk Synchron. We're going to Special Summon. And there's a lot... Oh, yeah. Of course, this guy has a Canadia. Oh, maybe not. We are Special Summoning Psychic Tracker when we get the chance. Okay, so now we have Psychokinesis ready ready to go. Now, I kind of want to get rid of the back row. But if it's a Canadian, if the, if the back row is Canadian, then I might as well go for the Synchro. I'm going to go for the Synchro Summon just in case if the back row is Canadian. I might as well, because there's no point of wasting a thousand light points only for that to be Canadian. You know what I'm saying? So, we're just going to go for our mateys, get Canadian, and call it a day. 
Pulse Mines, that too. You know what, that too. Um, now, do I want... What do I want to get rid of? Okay, I think I might get rid of Gearka Anchor. Let's get rid of Gearka Anchor right now. I'll just go for that. Because that's going to destroy our monsters anyways, so... There's that right there. Besides, we got a spicy Spear Karibo, uh, which is going to be nice. And we're going to be able to summon into another um, Armadies next turn anyways, so... Feeling okay about this. I'm feeling okay. Of course, he has another Gearga Attacker. That sucks. He's going to sacrifice Gearga Arsenal. Probably go into Gearga Anchor. Yes. Yes, he is. And, yeah, that might cost him the game, the fact that it's in defense position. So, yeah, we're going to go... We're going to Spear Karibo that real quick. Make sure he wastes all of his, you know... Tax with his other boy right there. Yep. Now, if that's a Pulse Mines or a Canadia, that would suck. Hopefully, we got deck. Okay, Tre Treacherous Trapple is actually a really good card at top of deck, too. You know what? Thank you, Duel Links. Treacherous Trapple. Nice, Sue. Nice, Sue. Let's go into another Armades. Let's see if this guy has another Pulse Mines or something. Oh, okay. He has Canadia. We expected it. We did expect it. That is for sure. Next up, we're going to switch our Psychic Tracker to Attack Position, and let's go, yeah, let's go swing into the Gear Gray Anchor. Get rid of that boy. And turn, follow-up turn, we're going to activate our Treacherous Trap Pull. I mean, you do you, my guy. I'm going to wait till you summon a monster. Sets the card perfect. Perfect right there, my guy. Perfect. We're going to get rid of your Gearga. We're going to get rid of your other Gearga. Both of them are going to be gone. Oh, well. Oh, okay, Canadia. That, that, Canadia is a problem. Canadia is a definite problem right there. But honestly, like, I have all the reason to go into Gear Attacker, but I completely forgot about Canadia, and that sucks. So, sadly, our Junk Synchron is going to get rid of. Man, that Canadia is changing the game, because depending on what this guy's face down is, we might get fucked. Thank you, Junk Synchron. Love you, homie. Love you, homie. Love you, homie. Get out of here with your dumbass Canadias. We're going to go into another um, Armadies. We're going to go into another Armadies right there. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we top decked into a uh, Junk Synchron. If we didn't, we would have lost this duel. We would have lost this duel. Big L. Oh, shit. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. We just won right there. Let's go. So while it sucks that my first recording didn't happen... Still got that epic victory royale, and that's what matters right there. Maybe I'll get three duels in today's video instead of my previous recording where I only got two duels. Because in my previous recording, I was only going to do two duels in there because the first duel that I did was forever. At the same time, though, I wish I could show you that first duel that I had because I went against this guy right here, and this guy had an insane deck list. Like, this deck list right here is absolutely crazy. If I could build this deck list, I would. If you have all the cards for this deck, I'd recommend you guys to try it out because that deck's insane. But let's go check out this Gear Good player and see what he's popping with. Okay, standard. Three ties of bind. Canadia. Pulse mines. Spell storing life. Don't. Oh, yeah, because. Um... I guess to flip them up, huh? Yeah, the flip over monsters, I guess. Interesting build. Well, I won against it, though, and that's what matters. So let's go move on to the next duel of today's video. Next up, we're going against a guy with a full belt king of games. I think I'm like the only person in the ladder that doesn't have full belt king of games, to be honest. Because last season, I did not reach. Uh... Did not reach king of games. I was super busy with school. And I did not have the time to reach King of Games. Bright side, though, reach King of Games uh, this season already, which is awesome. What grows in the graveyard? Double what grows in the graveyard. Uh, we don't have a tuner. And we are going turn two. Okay. If, it, if that. Ooh, okay. We might be okay. And of course, we top deck into multiple psychic trackers. What a yikes. What a yikes right there. Let's go see what this guy's plan is. I kind of want to special summon the other psychic. Well, I actually can't even summon the other psychic tracker. Never mind. No point to. This guy is doing some big considering, some big thinks. And he goes for the Canadia. Okay, he does not want to bet it play around. Does not want to play around right there, which I'm honestly fine with. I'm honestly fine with. I was going to actually snipe his Canadia with my Psychokinesis anyway, so it works out. I think this guy did not top deck into any tuners. I might be mistaken. But this guy might have not top deck into any tuners. Okay, he does. Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Why did I say that? I'm about to get fucked up by a Sangan and a couple of our mateys. I don't know why I'm singing. I'm sorry for the epic. I was going to say horrendous singing, but it was epic. So epic. Oh, shit. 
What is this mad like going into? Junk Destroyer, okay. This mad lad playing Junk Destroyer, and I'm gonna be honest, I completely respect it. Junk Destroyer is a cool card. Psychic Tracker got oofed. Psychic Tracker definitely got an oopsie. Junk Synchron adds another Junk Synchron to hand. Things are not looking good for us. Things are not looking good for us whatsoever. What do we get top deck into though? That's a good top deck. But he might have a Canadia. We'll see what happens though. Please no. Please no Canadia. Please. Please. This game. This game be like that. This game be like that. Yeah, we lost. We fucking lost. We could not. Oh, come on. Come on right there. We lost. We can't do anything about that. Floodgate is too strong. That's why I tech in cards like Cosmic Cycle into my build. Which, speaking of the fucking devil, holy shit. Damn it, man. Yeah, we didn't have any other option. Yeah, we got fucked up here, dude. That guy had Floodgate, and Floodgate was the answer to all of this guy's problems. That's what feels bad. Like, honestly, we would have tore... Yeah, if this, if this guy had no Floodgates, we would have decimated this dude. But, hey, he had the cards in his deck, and that's why he was able to win. Oh, I was about to pop off on this dude, man. Feels a bad, man. It feels a bad, man. Let's go check out this guy's deck list, though. Most likely, it's like three Canadia, three Floodgate. Maybe some of the new psychic cards, but I kind of doubt it. I think this is just kind of standard, to be honest. No, P is playing the new psychic cards. I could build this, too. Yeah, I could definitely build something like this. So, GG's to him. We're pretty much playing the same deck. Let's go move on to the next and final duel of today's episode. Going against a guy called Shader, and look at that. He has a lot of stuff under his belt. Going against a Bastion. So, I'm going to guess this is a Firm as Earth player. He's probably playing the new um, psychic cards with Firm as Earth. Yeah, I, this is another mirror match right here. And we are going, we're going turn two, but of course, again, we don't have any of our, why are our tuners so camera shy? God dang it, man. Why are our tuner monsters so freaking camera shy right now? So obnoxious. Okay, well, at least he didn't do much. And we did top deck into a junk synchron, which is really nice. I'm going to go into Psychic Tracker, though, because he definitely has a Canadia. If I was a King of Games player, I'd be playing Canadia. But joke's on them. Oh, Floodgate, yeah, something like that. Like, I kind of expected that. Kind of expected that, so that's why we summoned Psychic Tracker. Actually, I should have summoned Dark Soul. Dark Soul probably would have been a better option, but oh well. Okay, he also summons a Psychic Tracker. Are you going to special summon a Tuner? You are going to special summon a Tuner. Okie dokie, man. So this means one of our cards is going to get destroyed. I don't think, depending on what Synchro Monster he goes into, I don't think he's going to get rid of our Super Rush, which is nice. Powered Exectron, okay. Could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Probably should have set Dark Soul, though, to be honest. Oh, well. Oh, well. And then, for some reason, this mad lad did not uh, pop one of our monsters. Maybe he couldn't, because my card was face down. Anyways, this is why we're running Cause of Cyclone, so we can, yeah, get rid of cards like Econ. Okay, man. Uh, honestly, I think it's go time. I think it is go time right there. We're going to activate the effect of Junk Synchron. Go into Dark Verger. We're gonna special summon our a psychic tracker, and we got some we got some options right here, boys. We definitely got some options. I think I'm gonna go for Armadies though. I think I'd rather have Armadies on the board, so we're gonna go for this and this, and then you cannot uh, when this card synchro summon this turn. Okay. Okay, so I think now we can go for a epic super rush headlong. So we're gonna go for a super rush, and target you, and then we're gonna choose a light, attack into that. And I believe Super Rush will pop and get rid of you. Almost accidentally surrendered. That would have been scary. I think we're in a good spot. I think we're definitely in a good spot right now. I don't know if this guy can really do much else. And he's surrendered. That's awesome. Let's go check out this deck list that he's rocking. Probably similar to mine. I just have the upper hand right there. That's for sure. Dude, the Cosmic Cyclone's really good in this deck. You can't do Floodgate's going to mess you up. So you need something like that to just snipe the card. Because that's why we won. Oh, maybe it is not meant for us to see his deck list. Never mind, we get to see his deck list. Okay, so this is straight up only Psychic. This is straight up only Psychic. No X Saber shenanigans right there. That is for sure. Well, that's going to do it for me, guys, today in today's Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links video. If you guys enjoyed uh, today's video and you haven't already, be sure to go hit the like button on the video down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new for more content from me. I'm going to be releasing some other ranked PP videos throughout the week because there's a lot of new stuff that I can try out from this new box. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll go see you guys in the next Yu Gi Oh! video. Peace.